Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the video. This time is of the Lightning Collection Ranger Slayer. Now, if you've read the Boom Studios comics with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, you already know who Ranger Slayer is. For those of you that don't know who Ranger Slayer is, well, it's... You know what? No spoilers. I'm not even going to do that to people. Go out and read the goddamn book. Yeah, how about that? Um, so yeah, I'll wiki it like most of you do and think you know everything. But here we're going to talk about the Ranger Slayer. And she's awesome. Because while taking a few steps forward, they took a few minor steps back. But overall, I am very happy with what we have with Ranger Slayer. It's a $20 figure from the Hasbro Lightning Collection. And uh, yeah, you get what you pay for. So let's get started. Let's start by me pulling her forward towards the camera and you guys can see the beautiful look that we have in proportions where it definitely follows some of the Dan Mora art and definitely gives you uh, the best of that stylized art all while giving you a nice plastic cape. And while the plastic cape is nice, everyone knows that I'm a cloth cape guy. So I'm definitely going to find a way to get a cloth cape on her. But this has been very nice. I do like that this has also been added as a part of the cape and not actually uh, ruining her shoulder articulation. So I really, really like that. Now, we're gonna talk about articulation. So first things first, we're gonna just pull this off because it just drapes right over the shoulders and actually moves pretty well. Where it's one of those things that don't actually get in the way. So without further ado, let's jump into the articulation, right? Oh, actually, whoop, there we go. So again, pull that back off. And then we'll see how she moves. Even without her cloak, she actually looks really, really good. It's one of those things that it actually works out pretty well. Now, head articulation, we can go up, we can go down. We can, we can kind of tilt side to side, but that's one of the downfalls where the helmet design, because it is much bigger, you actually lose out on that tilting expression, but you actually get it when you rotate it up. But when looking straight, you lose all tilting. As far as the arms go, there is a beautiful, beautiful blood if I joint that goes backwards. And considering in the comics, Kimberly does a lot of kicking martial arts and moves her arms in a particular way that folds them backwards. This is a big step uh, in moving towards that. We still have that single joint, but like the Black Series stuff, it actually begins to tuck in and is actually pretty strong. My old Pink Ranger, which from the buy that I bought from, uh, really screwed me over with a bad copy purposely. So that kind of sucks. So I never really reviewed that one, but you'll see here how bad those joints are on this one. And then we have our standard peg joints that actually rotate in. Same for the hand here, the rope, just a standard Figma-like joint that goes up and down. As far as the mid torso goes, with the mid torso, and I don't know what's going on with my focus, but yeah, we can actually move really far back. I mean, like <laughs> it is far back. And that is an excellent show of that new show of articulation where the uh, the skirts don't get in the way, right? We can tilt side to side and we can rotate around on this joint. So I actually like where this is going. Again, this follows Kimberly's style of martial arts where it's more of a ballerina style kicking. And on the Ranger Slayer, it definitely follows through with a more modified and darker version. We don't get that drop down here on the legs. We do have thigh swivel with no problem. The leg can come forward and it is double jointed. It's strong joints too, so you don't have to worry about. But what they really did here, and I really like it, is that on a lot of the previous female rangers, we have an issue with them standing and legs not being strong. That's not being an issue here. And they even added a nice new joint here to swivel, right? And still have a strong leg peg joint that goes backwards, forwards, and just give her the ability to stand up really, really well. And I have thoroughly enjoyed that. I think them adding that to Ranger Slayer was great, and I feel like it should be added to all Rangers going forward. As we can see here, she looks pretty cool. So without her cloak, she looks cool, but I think even with this uh, plastic one, she still looks much better using it. I just know that it's going to get in the way of articulation and me doing certain stuff. So yeah, and mine's is not standing because it is hot as hell in my room. So I have to find a way to circulate this better until I get my AC fixed. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. Next up, we're going to talk about her accessories. I'm actually gonna take that off to prevent further falling, which constantly happens in uh, humidity. It's about 90 degrees here in New York. So we have a lot to deal with outside of the heat already. So yeah, we are going to talk about her bow of darkness, which is the sword of darkness uh, combined into a, wow, 
I don't know why she keeps falling. Because even with this heat, this shouldn't happen. Hmm. I'm a little bothered by that. That's not good. That means my legs are beginning to warp. So that's something we should actually look out for, you guys. Is that uh, warping leg syndrome. So hopefully that's not something that's going on permanently. Now, in terms of the Bow of Darkness, it is two of the Swords of Darkness from the Green Ring. Okay. Now we just... Now I'm bothered. I'm not going to front. So, now we have the Bow of Darkness, as I've constantly tried to say, and Kimberly keeps stopping me. Uh, we deal with the fact that she has took the Sword of Darkness, combined it into two to make a bow. I really don't like that there's not some sort of drawstring here. So if I can find a thin string, I definitely want to attach that. Because not having a string kind of kills the, uh, the, uh, the validity of it, when it just seems like a double-edged sword as opposed to a bow, right? You get two types of bows, so you're going to get the ability to use three arrows. And right here, they're going to be plugins for her to use her three arrow technique with a combination piece at the end. Actually, let me turn it over. I have it on the wrong side. This will allow you to hold it and use that hand to hold it as well. So keep that in mind on how you want to do it. You can use the flipped over version or not. You'll also get a powered version, and this is a dark pink color, as opposed to the original's light pink. And this effect can be held right here at the notch with the hand, and that's gonna allow you to hold it in a particular way. You'll also get a blade blaster made in black to follow Lord Dracon's orders. He has it in black for her. You just place that right on her side. You don't get the blade mode, which I don't know why they don't include it, because even as a sidearm, you wanna use it in your toy photos, right? For opposite hands, you'll see the open palm hand here and the closed fist there. Now you also get the bow holding hand. When this is actually, this is for the arrows, but you can also hold the bow in this hand as well. And this one is definitely, actually you can do either or, but for to follow the steady way, she actually has reversed it from the regular print ranger. So this one's going to hold your arrows as you hold it here through that one trigger finger that she has, as you see here. So it's actually reversed from the original Pink Ranger. And this one is going to hold your bow. But you can also use this and vice versa to switch it around if you want. Now, when you compare her to her previous counterpart, which has, see mine's, <laughs> my arm is just wangly dangly. You notice that she's actually a little bit smaller, but that's okay. The helmet's much bigger, again, following the Dan Mora stuff. So outside of the invert, let me just fix that focus. There we go. So outside of having a larger helmet and being a tad bit smaller, we actually get a better design here at the bottom half. We get stronger legs that don't look as warped because they're thicker as well, too. And we get a better body proportion. Why mines tend to fall over? I'm guessing it's definitely because of humidity. Because the first day I got it, I actually did not face this issue at all. But yeah. And even if you wanted to put this collar over this one, you totally can. And you can go, you know, and mix and match and have fun with that if you felt like it. But you don't have to. But yeah. When you compare her to others, which I'm going to get to in a second. I think the Ranger Slayer is a great addition for those of you following the comics. And a great addition for those of you who want alternate versions of your MMPR. Hopefully, they, I feel like we hopefully we'll get Ranger Sentries to continue showing off our stuff. I'm really hoping that happens. But now, real quick, what we're going to do is jump into the size comparisons, and then we're going to round about this video. Let's get started. Hey, guys. Now, we're going to jump into the size comparison as my cats continue to be cats and be jerks around me. Um, they keep trying to knock down stuff. But, yeah. So, let's jump into the size comparison. First things first, let's compare it to a few of the other Lightning Collection stuff. I'm not going to put out the whole team. Because I just don't think that's needed. And as you saw, we've previously compared her to her normal Pink Ranger version. So here she is next to a putty. In case you want to see her next to one. Right? Then we have the infamous Lord Dracon himself. Which we can easily compare her to. Because you know they come from the same universe. Then we're going to do a normal Red Ranger. So that way you can see her size compared to them. And like I said, while the other Rangers follow that classic look... This one is definitely more stylized for the Dan Mora style, and I really do like that they did that. It's really dope to see. So next up, we're gonna compare her to, oh, Lord Zed, why not Lord Zed? Yeah. So here's Lord Zed, right? 
Next up, we're gonna do a few others. Uh, let's try a Hasbro G.I. Joe, which is Snake Eyes. A little on the smaller side, so you can see that he's not too much bigger than her, but he does look nice next to her. Next up, we have a Marvel six inch Spider-Man. And then we'll do an Articulated Icons Ninja because ninjas and Power Rangers kind of go hand in hand. Ah, you know what? I don't have my Ninja Turtles down, but I'll try to get it in some pictures so you can see that cool stuff. Uh, here we are, it's a 1000 Toy Synthetic Human, which can definitely fit in this. Then we have an SHF Kamen Rider 01, which again, looks pretty nice with her. It's actually, my lights are so strong lately. Last but not least, we have a Mezco Me. And then you can see that I'm way bigger. So yeah, uh, Mezco size is obviously way bigger. But Lightning Collection kind of mixes and matches and I like where it's going. I really like where this line is heading. It's like they're actually paying attention to us and really giving us a lot of love, especially with the whole ankle issue where they were previously falling over or they had wobbly legs. That's not the case at all anymore right now. And hopefully I can get some dope pictures out of this. Uh, I really want to find strength for that boy of darkness though. But as always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, I appreciate all the cool things and nice comments. Oh, and I hit 50K. So thanks to all you guys out there watching. I really do appreciate it. As always, please, guys, thank you. So uh, be good, do good, drink your water. Later.